What I want to do is show you some of the Switch accessible games that you will find on Special Bytes. That's www.specialbytes.com. And if you click on Super Specials, you'll come to this page. These are games and activities for annual members to download. And you will notice a growing list of these. And at the moment, the page looks like this. We've got Penalty Shootout, One Switch, Cause and Effect. And we've, here we have the, the game. And there's two versions. One is the easy and one is the challenge version. The easy version allows for more, more goal scoring. Uh, the challenge version is a little more difficult to score, but you do score. But it becomes a, a, a more a feature when you come down to the one switch scan. Because then you, you are really testing which location is better for scoring goals. We've also got the two switch uh, scan version. We've got a a mouse, a touchscreen version, and again they all have got the easy or the more challenging version. What we're going to do is quickly look at uh, the options here. So if you uh, click on either the link or the image, let's just click on the link, you get the option to download uh, this file. So you can click save, you save it to your computer, it's a zip file, and then you have to unzip it uh, when you on your on your computer and you extract the file put it onto another location so I'm going to just click cancel for the moment I've downloaded uh, these ones and let's have a look at them so uh, sh penalty shootout one switch cause and effect let's open it and this game is a modification of an open source game it's been modified by uh, special bytes to make it switch accessible and suitable for early mouse users and you'll find information about that under credits and promotion. So let's just, uh, we can click on go here or we can press the space bar. So the, press, the, the space bar will simulate a, a switch press. And after the introduction, uh, we come to the game part and we've got an animated uh, switch here and when we move the mouse over it, it there's a star appears so you can use this with a, with, with a mouse and on a touch screen as well so if I move the mouse out of the way and simply press the space bar which is simulating a switch press so let's press the switch now <coughs> And background again so we've got the scoring up here and at the end out of five strikes we we find out what our tally is at the end so I'll just uh, close that one for the moment let's uh, exit let's have a look at the uh, one switch scan and I simply press the spacebar this time the computer is controlling the scan it's circling each ball in turn asking me to choose my strike location. I'm going to choose the next one. I'm going to press the space bar now. Ah, well, saved. <laughs> okay, I won't try it again, but there are five attempts at this as well. Let's just click File, Exit. Let's go to the two-switch version. And if I press the space bar, And this time, I'm in control of the scan, or the user is in control of the scan. So one switch will do the scanning, and the second switch will do the selecting. So I'm going to press the one switch, or the space bar. So I've pressed one switch, now I'm going to press it again. Okay, I'm going to choose that location, so now I press the other switch. Ah, that's saved as well. Not scoring very well. There are f uh, five attempts on that, and at the end you get a tally of how many you've scored. So let's uh, click on Exit, and let's go to the mouse one. Let's just click uh, Go this time. So you can use the mouse or a touch screen. Choose your strike location. I'm going to choose this one.
So that's the mouse one. I'm going to file exit. And if we go back to uh, special bytes, there are more activities down at the bottom uh, and a growing list coming. So there's a ping pong version uh, one and version two. And also on this uh, website, there are lots of video tutorials to help you make activities. Uh, cause and effect activities, scan activities, two switch activities, and early mouse activities. And uh, down in here, making activities one, two, and three. Uh, that's what it is at the moment. Uh, to make these activities, you often need to manipulate images. You need to manipulate sound and video. And there's also uh, uh, quite a large section of videos, video tutorials uh, in, in these sections showing you just how to do that. And it's a step-by-step -step working through the various projects to make these activities.